Welcome to the standpoint. Are you counting the date anyway? Have you brought in your donation? One brand new shoe for one child in the rural communities. This year, we are also targeting the children who are affected by the floods. Average, you know, cost for a shoe, it's about 150 Ghana cities. Please, we beg you, the number is on the screen. Please donate today few days to Christmas. We hope to make the donation on the 22nd of December. So, should I kneel and beg you? Anyway, welcome to the standpoint because I know you're going to give wherever you are in the world. Your donation is welcome and God will bless you. The holidays are almost here and I don't know why the 16 days of activism is always you know, around um, the Christmas or the festive season but there is something Something that, you know, causes the escalation of violence against women and girls during the festive season, during holidays. Today, we are going to discuss, find out how we can prevent, prevention is better than cure. How we can prevent the abuse, the violence against women and girls. And I have the panel ready to delve into this so that we all be on the lookout and avoid becoming victims of abuse. Let me say thank you to Tai Dai Yekua for my tie and I thank you so much to her. My dress is by Brie Redua. I think I'm holding the rich anti-vibe. What do you think? Well, thank you so much to her. My earrings and my bracelet by Tweeny Crafts. Thank you so much to um, them as well. And of course, my makeup today is by Akosia. I'll give you her brand and name during the second break. But thank you so much for tuning in. Today, you are in for education, for revelation, for a shocker, and for a call to action. We'll be back. Welcome back to The Standpoint. As I told you during the intro, it is some days to Christmas. And yes, you can tell from the set here, yeah, Christmas is in the air. But Christmas does not mean that we should go to bed. It means we should open our eyes. Because uh, abuse knows no color, age, or season. But somehow, it's gets to a dizzying height during festive seasons. And from the 25th of November till the 10th of December, the world is marking 16 days of activism. What is it all about? This year, the theme is invest in prevention of uh, violence against women and girls. Prevention, prevention, prevention. So that's what we are going to talk about. Let me say thank you to Vena Mineral Water. Vena Mineral Water has a balanced pH level, has all the required minerals, very low in sodium. And the beautiful thing about them is that they actually support and also invest in sharing love and changing lives. And I say thank you to them for supporting all my outreach programs and projects during this year. So, so, so grateful to them. And I hope next year they will come on board to support us as well. Now, let me come straight to the set and introduce my guest. Sitting right opposite me is Madam Joyce Lena Dankwa, who is a project manager, transformative action for gender equality, Action Aid. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. Good to have you here. Sitting next to her is a young lady, Madam Margaret Osei, who's a former secretary, Young Urban Women's Movement. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. And of course, seated right next to me is Harriet Sobo Amponsa. Did I get it right? Yes, please. <laughs> Head of Women Gender Health Services. Workers Union of TUC. Welcome to the standpoint. Good, good, good to Thank have you. you. How are you doing? 
We are doing Any fine. plans for Christmas? A lot. A lot. Eh? <laughs> this time, at Christmas, let's chill some more. A wine. lot. Yeah, yeah, Juma, yeah, bre, like, There's too much like, stress in the too, air. I know, right? And we have to I chill know, right? more. So, so the stress away. You know, you know this thing about how, I don't know, was it activism fatigue? That sometimes when you're not careful, it actually affects you, your whole being, your psyche and everything. And when you want to pull away small too and relax, so you feel guilty. Yeah, Margaret? Um, so I, I think it's, it's just a burden, especially on some mm. women. Um, because there are a lot of things that we do in the house. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, we go outside for economic security. That is getting other jobs outside. That is going to bring us some money. And so adding that to the work we do in the house is a lot of burden. And at the end of the day, we don't find time for ourselves as women. And that makes us that tired. Mm. And so I think we have to release some of the stress that is burden upon us. Mm. Um, probably in Christmas, we can go out with family and have fun, share some of the experiences we go through and then the challenges and how as a family, we can work together to solve them. Harriet, what about you? Do you get that sometimes? I do. Sometimes me, it affects me and I carry it home. I do, but then <laughs> it would be wrong to also carry it home mm. because already, we are carrying other people's burdens. Exactly. You can never relax until the next person behind you feels very comfortable. But then again, there are a lot of challenges, financial burden, misunderstanding here and there. I am coming from the health sector, yeah. so I would want to use this big platform right. to say hello to all the women in the health service right. within this country yeah. because they are the people I represent. Right. We are the mouthpiece for them. Hmm. We ensure they are okay because how will it feel like going to the hospital and meeting a stressed woman or lady mm -hmm. who wants to attend to you? Yeah. At the end of the day, the stress she's carrying mm -hmm. will be transferred exactly. onto you, the patient. And there's no way you will get mm -hmm. your healing. Yeah. And then again, we have to ensure that the person who is entering the hospital will leave healed and again, field taken care of so that you can always want to come back mm. guess better. Mm. 16 days of activism, mm. 25th of November to the 10th of December. Yeah. And this year, the theme is invest in prevention, yeah. you know. So any yeah. reason for this? Yes, uh, there's, a, there's a light joke. Provision is better than kiosk. You know. Yes. <laughs> It's always I like more, that. less. Prevention is best, better than, than cures. Cure. Yes, prevention is always better, <laughs> better than, than curing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's very expensive to heal mm. somebody who is wounded. And it is worse if you are healing somebody who is emotionally scarred, mm. emotionally wounded. So, what we are saying is that let's all rally all the resources that we can master to sensitize create awareness, educate both men and women, youth, boys, traditional leaders, everybody, mm. that it is very important to value the rights of women okay. and protect them from violence. It is very important to give them the needed skills, knowledge, attitudes, to know what constitutes violence, right. to know what to do when they witness or become um, victims, victims of violence, know who to report to, know where to go. And right. even when you go where you go, yeah. know what to expect. Right. All this will depend on the amount of information you have. and skill that you have mm. so invest in acquiring knowledge mm. invest in acquiring skills invest in acquiring the right attitudes and even demonstrating those attitudes right. so that your immediate environment can learn from you mm. so that together we all work together pull our resources yes. and protect mm. women from violence yes.
Thank you. Margaret, can you tell me a bit, I, I know Harriet wanted to add a bit, but can you tell me a little bit about um, yes. Young Urban Women? Women's yeah. Movement. So the Young Urban Women's Movement was formerly a project. Mm. And after the project phase from... Project by? Actually, Nate Ghana okay. was the implementers. And so after the project phase, they actually sat the young women down. It's found around Gun West municipality and then they go like, so after the project, what do you think we can do to sustain the young women in their communities? And we sat down and told them that if we can sustain it, it means that we have to form a movement, bringing all women around the various communities together so that in any time there is a problem, we can come together and then solve this problem. And so now that is the reason why the yeah, younger right. band women became a movement. Okay. We work in 15 communities in the Gang West okay. municipality. Okay. And we work around three thematic areas that is on burden of care work, economic security, and then um, bodily integrity. Mm -hmm. So bodily integrity because we just want to empower the young woman on how she has a decision over her own body, how to tell someone that this is the person I want to have sex with, mm -hmm. how to make sure that if your parents are telling you go get married to this man, mm -hmm. you are able to make the decision that no, mm -hmm. this is not the time for me to get married. Mm -hmm. Or even if this is the time, this is the person I want to be with. Yeah. On paid care work because we realize that a lot of young women are out there and are cohabitants and so the men they are living with don't give them the chance to make decisions in mm -hmm. the house, like going out to work and then bringing something to the house. So why not we empower them and train them on some other skills? Even if you are not able to go out to look for white colored job, you are able to do something on your own mm. in your house and then you can sort other things for yourself. Mm. And then um, we are looking at um, economic security as I spoke about, going right. out there to get a job. And how do you think that this job is decent for you to work in? So we are looking at how you are going to identify an environment that is comfortable for you mm -hmm. to work in. So basically, these are the three thematic areas yes, that, yeah. that the young urban women... You, you know, when you mention about the, the bodily integrity, you know, my... My first book, A Bit of Me, I wrote about owning your vagina. And anytime I talk about it, people are like, oh, well, then I said, yes. Just like so you need to own it. Ooh, like, yeah. it's me. You decide who, who to to. where, yeah. how, yeah. you know, when, when. you know, you, why. It is you. Yours. Yes. God, but somehow, women are socialized to know, oh, when you go to engagement, that part, how I hate it. <laughs> the advice part. The advice part. <laughs> if for your husband, who could not dear, your baby, and, and then he needs it. that one so quarter, you won't, you won't, you won't take the but you know, the young boy telling that, oh, so the, this one isn't it for a man. We are then cry, you are yeah, keeping your virginity of the way you're bare man, dear, then you're bare man, and no better, yeah. you know, kind of thing. No, 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 whatever it is. You know, I remember years ago, I did a program on how I broke my virginity. It was so upsetting. Somebody broke their virginity. Most of them was because the guys told them that they would marry them. Yeah. 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 You were, you were. It never happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, and most of the time after that they will leave. They will yeah, leave. They will leave. And, and you, you believed, believed it. it. Yeah, yeah, you you believed, believed it because you've been socialized to believe and accept that as a woman, your ultimate value is when you are you married are and you are living in a, a husband's house. That is the peak of all that you can achieve. And so if a young man promises you that, then you will fall for it. Mm. You will fall for it because you have not been given information. You have not been given knowledge. You have not been given skills. You have not been given the right attitude. That is why we are saying that this year, the focus is on prevention. How are we preventing? We are preventing by investing our time and all that we have in giving out the right information, the right knowledge, 
the right skills, the right attitude mm. to everybody. We are not limiting our awareness creation drive to only women. Only women. And that has usually been the challenge. challenge. When yeah. we are doing women's rights, oh, women's we, rights we is human rights, women's, women's women. advocacy, it's blah, 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 blah. But we, we tend to forget that the woman that you are so much investing in building her capacity mm. is situated within a society See. that comprises men, women, children, children, traditional, traditional leaders, religious, or religious leaders. my own religious mm. leaders. Mm. Sometimes when the, 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 I did, I remember I did a program on abuse from the pulpit. Mm. Anyway, let me take a break before my director, you know, <laughs> said, let me take a break. We'll back to continue this discussion and we look at some of the challenges that come. I think it's not just for the fun of it that 16 days of activism is around the, you know, end of the year, festive mm. season. You know, we'll look mm. at some of the things that we need to invest in. We'll look, we need to look out and what your various, you know, organizations I'm are doing, doing mm. you know, during this period. You're watching The Standpoint. Let me say thank you once again to Vernal Mineral Water, to Big O Drinks. Thank you so much. Juice time, 100% fruit juices. Auntie Vera and the team, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, cleaning services always take care of our environment to make sure we operate in a clean environment. Thank you. My beautiful Christmas decor is by Fines at Decor. We are also grateful to Techno Ghana for their beautiful gifts, you know, for um, our special people. And we also say thank you to um, Taida Yekua, Yekua um, Cosmetics for the special gift for our special uh, panelists for this period. We are also, again, grateful to Mrs. Ofori Poku and the family. And then Alf Cuisine, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We take a break. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back to The Standpoint. We're still commemorating 16 days of activism, you know, to drum home the need to prevent violence against women and girls, where we make sure that every single human being living in our community, in our country, is involved. Let me say thank you to Tai Dai Yekwa for my tie and dye. That's my, I don't know whether it's kimono dress or whatever it is, but it's by Brie Redua. Thank you so much, Brie. My beads and um, bold earring by Twini Craft. I'm so grateful to them. And then, of course, make up by touch by roses. We are back on the set, and I have Joyce, Elena, Margaret, and then Harriet. Harriet, before we went on break, I raised this issue of somehow during festive seasons, where there's supposed to be love, where there's supposed to be peace, unity, bonding, somehow that is when we have some of the most heinous violent crimes against women. Yeah, Auntie Gifty, you are right. Um, these days, we can say the violence is on the high side, not because of anything, but because of the things around us. Right. As women, everybody watching Auntie Gifty today wants to be like her without doing anything. Mm -hmm. We just concluded on discussing sex and how women give themselves out to men who doesn't deserve them. Sometimes not because of anything, but because they want to be who they want to be without passing through the mail. And social media has made it worse. Worse. And so a woman wouldn't want to naked herself before the cameras so that there will be money flowing in. Within some few days, she's in the uh, four-wheel drive mm. looking as pretty as she wants to be. Meanwhile, there are a lot of things that we need to do to ourselves. Mm. And so for us to be able to proper advocate we have to identify the issues. What are the challenges women are going through? Coming Christmas, yeah. how would every woman want to take care of herself and the family? Would I wish to take my family out or I have to depend on my husband to send us out? If it is only the husband who must send the family out, then the problem will begin. Because where I would want to go, he may not wish to go there or the resources may not be there. And so how is the average Ghanaian woman 
empowered to be able to be financially independent and to be able to know that I am not supposed to survive because there's a man behind me. I should be able to be Harriet with or without a man. So that this Christmas, go to Mokola, a lot of things are there. These are the wigs that we wear. Everybody wants to wear the 5,000, the 4,000 wigs. How do I get it without the support of a man? Mm -hmm. Else I would end up jumping from one bed to the other. And that is where the abuses will take place. Because now I am suffering, the man is also suffering. And I feel once I've gone to bed with you, you have a responsibility to take care of me. Meanwhile, he too may not have. So one way is to ensure I fight with you. Most people will break up during this time because mm -hmm. I am dodging Surprising. my responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I will They'll make sure up, uh, I, will know, look fight, uh, for, I will look for trouble where there is none. So that you, the woman, will not come okay. and be making yes. unnecessary demands on me. Okay. When the season is over, then I'll try to look for you again. If you are that loose person, then you come back. And so what are our responsibilities as those of us sitting here, those out there? Ours is to know the challenges the women are going through. Help them with solutions. Empower the average Ghanaian woman. Be independent. How do we also support people like Auntie Gifty, who is doing a great job to women? There are people around. We have groups. We have individuals who are taking up these responsibilities. How are they being supported? Corporate Ghana, mm. how are they supporting these people who are into this agenda? Mm. Just now you mentioned some people. Mm. When I mentioned about the breast cancer, I wrote some proposals and mm. sent it out. To my surprise, most of them turned it down. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Most how of them turned it down. As the standpoint, yes. It's a miracle. All the people I've mentioned, there are people who said none of them pays money. Imagine this. One gives us water, the other cleans our environment. And I don't discount it because without them, I will still have to buy. Yeah. I still have to buy. But for corporate Ghana to put money in this, sometimes you Where wonder. their interest is, sometimes you don't understand. Me Things that women you see who on TV... There. And it has negative impact on society. They are the things they are ready to sponsor. But the things that we will do to change our generation, especially yeah. our mindset, how would I be able to speak and speak up and ensure the woman who is gallivanting here and there gets some form of training yeah. to be able to be a woman? How is this person financially empowered? To be able to be independent. How is this person, in fact, having a psychological... Yeah. I, I don't know how to let, put let it. Let me bring in um, Joyce. Because, you know, it's in one aspect to people will say there is their right. It's a right of the woman to decide that, she, especially if she's of age, to decide that she wants to expose herself. She wants to sleep with men for this. It's her right to do this or that. But somehow, sometimes we talk about these things because in the end, it doesn't end well. And it comes back to our doorsteps. Yes. So, so how do we find the fine balance? The fine balance. The fine balance is joining the campaign this year to invest. <laughs> invest. The word is invest. invest. What Action Aid is saying is, Invest in providing the right information, the right skills, the right knowledge, the right attitude to everybody to know what I will say, know what is violence, mm -hmm. know what the signs of violence are, know how violence impacts on mm -hmm. a woman. Since you have the platform, take us through. No? Yes. Okay. You, you wanted to come in? You, you, you okay. let me, yes. yes. So okay. let us know what constitutes violence, what the signs of violence are, mm -hmm. how it impacts on the woman, how that further impacts on the society. So let's invest in our daughters so that they know that they are full human beings Hallelujah. with rights mm. and that women's rights are human, human rights, rights. Yeah. and they can become the
best they wish to become mm -hmm. if they put their minds mm -hmm. to it and invest their time rightly. So if you are in school, it is a period for schooling. Mm -hmm. Stay in school, Stay in school. focus on your books, mm -hmm. become the best you can. And mm -hmm. then you will realize that you don't really need a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to buy you a car. Of mm -hmm. course. So let us be sensitive to what the signs of abuse mm -hmm. are so that we can detect. And even after we have detected, what should we do? Who do we talk to? Because mind you, it is not just anybody that you can report things as sensitive yes. as probably sexual violation mm. to. Because it is not every woman who would go through domestic violence, who would have the capacity and the courage mm. to come out and publicly say. Because like we mentioned at the start of the program, mm. even during the engagement, hey, and so if you are dying, you die silently. And the unfortunate thing, if you die today, it's they'll so set a date awesome. for the funeral. <laughs> During the funeral, you his eyes are purpose. scanning. Oh, his, his eyes, eyes are scanning. The one if who was the there before you cried, she will come ah, to the funeral. Like, she will be there at the yeah. funeral. Yeah. And then what and happens? And that night, something will uh, happen. Good morning with your husband. <laughs> the, thank you. Uh, you see, so let's mm. invest in building the capacity of our daughters to be independent, not to during Christmas, like she's saying, now have to depend necessarily on a man yeah. to provide for the home. Yeah. And we should also teach our daughters and everybody around us to be content with mm -hmm. the little what you have. they have. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. because it's not all that glitters, that, um, is, that, is, that is gold. Yeah. Yeah. Margaret, you know, <laughs> we are all on social media. Just a few days ago, I saw a post by a lady, so he said that, uh, what, soft life is so sweet. All those who have been preaching, um, what, independence, you said your father, you saw thing here uh, on social media, soft life is nice. So this is not sense about independent, being an independent woman. They think that, and it's sad when it is women, women who are making such comments. Who are making such comments. You know, I don't know how they see it. That what are, are we saying? What well, don't take a man's money? A man should not take care of you. When in actual fact, what we are saying is that be able to stand on your own, mm. just mm. in yes. case the man leaves you. Now you are the young lady. I, <laughs> I, I, I get I'm wrong, eh? They say me, I'm ancient. <laughs> so there is something we say in a Kenya. Say ejuma. One casa one yen would do who's a Yes, so um, in terms of that, you know, it is so bad when, as a young woman, you are not able to make decisions for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, you have a man and then you are a cohabitant and you are living with the man, and the man says that don't do anything, stay home. I'm going to take care of you. And at the end of the day, you start demanding for one or two things. And that is when the gender-based violence comes in or violence comes in. Because you start asking and he's not able to give you. And you would want to go to someone who would want to give you or who can give you. And this man starts, you know, doing other things like beating you up um, um, abusing you verbally mm -hmm. and then you you are not able to face this man because you are a woman so these things are things that are happening for me i feel as um, auntie joy said it is left with us to be able to invest and then educate everyone to know what violence is mm -hmm. if i know what it is when it comes i know how to face it exactly. but this is the case where I don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. How am I going to face this? Who am I going when to speak me, with? When he means he loves me. And it's normal. When he tells me not to go anywhere, he says he wants to call 24 hour a day checking where I am, what am I doing? It means that he loves me. Yes, and it's normal. If he beats me, it's mm -hmm. normal. Mm -hmm. So how are we investing? One thing is, um, in terms of the education, we are looking at the government also liaising with media right. to um, 
have Dove's you come on the media to educate the public on what violence is during the 16 days of activism. Mm -hmm. Probably we can have a day for that so that we call upon the country, everyone, to watch and listen to what gender-based violence yeah. is. Yeah. We are also like looking... state of the nation address oh, yes. on gender-based gender violence. Yes. That's and we a are, brilliant idea. We are also looking at... Um, Providing shelter for victims who are being abused because after I am abused in the house, who should I run to? Mm. Probably that day I can't sleep home. Mm. I don't know where to go. Where should I go? Mm. There should be a shelter for these victims. Yeah. Now, Dofsu has a shelter. Then the Ark Foundation, you know, has a shelter which um, has been running for God knows how many years now, doing it on their own. And um, now that donor support has dried up, they are struggling, but they're still and doing so it. And then the Dosu also has their yeah. And then there's another one called Pell something. Pell, I mean, I, I know, but we don't have enough, and yes. not everybody knows about yes. it. Yes, yes. That's yes. so I that is when the education comes in. Right. So after we have provided them, then we can still educate on where we where can find, find them. them. Again, we are also looking at investing in social welfare and same doves you some mm -hmm. of the resources they need to do their work. Right. Sometimes you may go to social welfare to report cases mm -hmm. and then they tell you we don't have full well oh. to full well a car. Ah. And then sometimes they will tell you, go home, we will come. Mm -hmm. And you don't the see freedom. them. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things we are... This is even greater, The regions, it's, <laughs> it's, it's sad. Yes. Yeah. Then let me use the opportunity to also announce that Dosu has a one stop, you yes. know, shelter yeah. where there's the clinic, there's the police station, and then there's a shelter in there. And they're trying to get, you know, things that will make it, I mean, comfortable for them, clothes and all that. They, they did. Absolutely. So far, Dosu, you know, has that. How well it's operating, I can't tell. And then again, this information that you are giving out right now. Yeah. How is the public know? aware of it? No. Exactly. Dosu itself, are they talking about what they can offer and what they have been doing and the cases that are coming? And then again, talking about education, how many women are able to own up and then report the cases? Some people are afraid of mm -hmm. victimization. Mm -hmm. Some people are afraid of people pointing fingers at them yeah. that you have ever gone through this. Yeah. And then again, within the hospitals, we have the... Um, the psychological unit within okay. the hospitals. How are we making good use of it? Those who have gone through this, what are the processes we take them through so that they will, they will come back to them themselves and then do the things they were doing before this abuse happened? And so all these things are there. We use the uh, Dovsu, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. They will come. The issues, they will come and present. Then you ask yourself, all these things are happening. NCC is there. What are we doing with these state agencies that we have that can be used to channel some of these things that we, we are doing? Mind you, violence doesn't begin 25th November and end on the 10th of December. No, it is all year round. Mm -hmm. And so it is an agenda that doesn't have to be a lot of noise are made around this time and then after that we all call back to ourselves and then leaving everybody to okay, his or her fate no let, let me let me jump let me jump on that mm -hmm. it's a something that goes on every, every day so the information sharing ought to be done all the time what are the channels for sharing this information right Auntie Gifty, mm -hmm. I'm coming to pick on you and your yes, people. Yes, Mama. The media. Okay. Media, my people. <laughs> your people. Me included. You, in, no, you, you are far better. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the media to the media. Their time. No. So see, when Margaret was talking about the people who ought to be targeted mm -hmm. in the um, sensitization, mm -hmm. the capacity building, and all that, I think if there are a group of people mm -hmm. that attention ought to be paid to is the media, media. particularly the producers of programs i agree mm -hmm. i have worked in an organization where we identified this as an issue mm -hmm. and so we decided mm -hmm. to build the capacity of media houses mm -hmm. so they become more informed mm -hmm. about the things that i had earlier mentioned mm -hmm. about yeah. what is violence mm -hmm. what are the signs mm -hmm. how to report how to share information mm -hmm. And we were targeting the 
the producers, the, the, top, mm. yeah. the top level, I mean, the staff, editors, mm. and the the editors yes. yes, the producers, the, the editors. We didn't find them. They will send reporters. They, are too busy. they will send the mm. reporters. Mm. But the reporters are not the ones who decide no. what no. gets aired. Yeah. Yeah. And the angle from which yeah. a discussion is profaned. Yeah. Yeah. So what we are saying is that the media should not be shy to admit that they don't know it all. They don't understand it all. Mm -hmm. They should invest in themselves mm -hmm. in seeking the right, right information, information. Yeah. and knowing how to say it right mm -hmm. without further perpetuating pain. Right. Because there's absolutely yeah. no reason Oof. why if a 13, a 12-year-old girl Especially the local language. Oh, uh, whoa, my people. The stations we that speak the local mention. language. <clears throat> The way they put it. <laughs> and a 12-year-old girl has been violated. And it's like, now Korea then will. After the end of the show. Now we will cry. The girl is the one that I had. Now be made down so no bunny drain drain drain. Now call a kid to so I hear it then all just. You see, so the media, the media should support the campaign. In they themselves mm -hmm. getting things right and saying it right and knowing that even when they are talking they should mind their language yeah. they should mind the timing that programs are being aired and that is why for action aid and particularly under the transformative action for gender mm -hmm. equality mm -hmm. project we are embarking on a five month long campaign mm. to build awareness on positive social norms mm. and attitudes that inure to the support of protecting women from violence and mm. supporting women to know how to protect themselves from violence. Mm. So we are targeting the media mm -hmm. engaging the media yeah. so we have partnered with various media houses, houses across the country mm. great right from Ho, Binduri mm. and um, Tamale and then the greater Accra region um, media houses where we are engaging them to support in creating public awareness on the rights of women the rights even of persons with disability. Mm. Because in as much as we always say that women are vulnerable, yeah. who has sat back mm -hmm. and thinks the about woman the woman who is, who is, is a PWD? Ah. We are saying women are vulnerable. Mm. But what about the woman mm. who cannot speak? speak? I don't know if any of us knows how viable, mm -hmm. how functional, that DV fund is because accessing it and knowing what is going on there, there. is a problem. <laughs> the um, minister just was well, last week read the budget statement, mm -hmm. and for me, all that I was trying, trying to do is how much is being voted to the Ministry, to the ministry of, of Gender, gender Children and Social Protection and that to some protect of these things. women. Mm. Mr. Mm. Finance Minister, mm -hmm. how much money mm -hmm. has been voted to the Ministry of Gender, gender. Uh, we don't have money children, and, and social, social protection. protection? They will tell you it's in their fine details. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I, I, because I didn't hear it, and I'm not a finance person, Listen. honestly. So, I went through the highlights. I mean, the highlights are already in the public domain. Right. So, I'm expecting to see, at see, least, you yeah. can mm -hmm. see one sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Put to give me an assurance, assurance so that yeah. I'll get somebody who will go through the fine details. If you don't mention it in the highlights, mm -hmm. it tells me that it's you, not. Yeah. Yes, you don't see it as Even important. If it's some point, you will exactly. not find it. You don't prioritize it. No, it's mm -hmm. not a priority to you. Mm -hmm. If it were, yeah. it will be presented in yeah. the highlights. It, yeah. it is not there. It you won't be tell, because it's, it's like it's women issue. And will be back a man for the no, yeah, yeah, will be be a month. It's a, it's it's a women's issue. It is Look, not setting up the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection didn't just happen. No. no. Not for it women had only. to take a lot of advocacy. advocacy. 
Maybe we should organize a protest match, Anna. Oh. You, you, you haven't to had enough. 16 days of activism. Yes. Maybe, it, maybe they, it, they, they are not, it's been too long since we did. I, so I, maybe, I, I when you think of the nation address, we'll go, we'll go gather there. We'll do, we want to hear something. That, something. Mm. It's so bad when you talk and it doesn't get anywhere. It, it's so because, mm. because they have always had this. And normally when you meet them, it looks new to them. Mm. But they always hear you know, this. Yes. They know. Not that they, 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 they know. They, they know. This is that, but they know. They yes. know. Yes. They, know. Yes. they know. They know. So, so they know. Let's know, sit on this program <laughs> and say something against them. They will hear. Mm -hmm. it. Them. <laughs> they will hear. They will hear, they will hear. and respond. The affirmative action bill has been hovering around oh. the floor of parliament ah. for God knows how long. Ah. Just yesterday, when I got home, somebody was telling me that uh, Joyce. Speaker, see, moon to moon push, you know, moon to moon push, you know, my name pass, I'm a bill, no. And I say, eh, I have to let it be They, they always say this. So they know. <sighs> the but last they just time made up their mind that issues of concern to women, they will always find a subtle way of pushing it to That's the back bed. Maybe, maybe, thing. maybe before the next um, state of the nation address, we should repeat this. We should have, you know, this uh, program again to see. And to state what we expect from them, Damn because yes. I told you the one hour is yes. too too short for the, for, for our discussion. And this time, so, yes. you know, unfortunately, we have to wrap up. But in conclusion, Margaret, what have you got to say in terms of investing in you know in the prevention of violence against women and girls? Yes. Yeah, so as I said before, so we partner with Abantu for Development, and Action Aid is normally our funder. Um, so we get to the streets and advocate for these things we are talking about, investing in gender-based violence, investing in violence against women and girls so that we are able to work together to prevent these things. It is an issue and we are calling everyone, especially women, to join this, um, this advocacy so that we can work it out to support every woman who is going through these issues. Thank you. So for Action in Ghana, under the Transformative Action for Gender Equality Project, like I said, we are embarking on a four-month intensive social norms campaign where we are rolling out various media assets, including um, jingles, live presenter mentions, radio discussions, all highlighting the role and support that society, particularly men, boys, community gatekeepers, traditional authorities, traditional and religious authorities are lending to support the campaign to protect women from gender-based violence. And so look out for Action Aid and the Transformative Action for Gender Equality Project, get informed, get the needed information that you need to build your capacity on knowing how to support in protecting women against violence. Thank you. So we in the Health Services Workers Union, um, we have started and we are not going to stop. We'll continue to sensitize we we'll continue to educate. We we'll continue to engage the media to help and support us in this agenda, especially around this time that we are thinking about solutions. Some of the issues are already known. How are we going to solve it? We call on corporate media to come to our aid, support us. This is not only an agenda for women. Policy makers, be interested in this. You may not know where your daughter will be tomorrow and will be abused. It is a call to all Ghanaians to be interested, support us to win this fight. Let us empower ourselves as women. Let's get the needed skill. Let us be financially sound, be independent, so that at the end of the day, you will have what it takes to train yourself and even train your children. So that together, we can't end it, but we can minimize it. And we'll have a very comfortable and good Ghana for all of us. Thank you, Auntie Gifty, for inviting us. We wish to come back and then continue. We are grateful.
Thank you so much. And yes, definitely, this program is for all of us. So definitely, there will be a comeback for us to continue. But to celebrate you for all that you're doing, and also to I say Merry Christmas to you. We have a little package from the standpoint to you. This is a um, mini package wow. from, you know, Casa. Wow. by Yekua, you know, hair products. Wow. And we also have a, a little token from Techno Ghana. This is a, a coffee as you go, coffee cup wow. as you go along. You know, Udo Coffee Kakre Gumnatika Nimua. You know, this is for you. Thank you so, yeah. so, so much. And then we have the same thing. Thank you. Also for Margaret. Uh -huh, Margaret, no, you give this one to uh, Madam Joyce. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then yours. Also, you have the hair products because you have natural hair just like me. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and then this one, I keep in it especially for also from Techno because it said stop at nothing. Wow. It's written on top here. Should I show it to you? Yeah, it says stop at nothing. And that for me is very profound, yeah. you know. So that one, I'm giving it to you. You have been at it, but not long enough. Um, you're a young lady. The things that will be thrown your way, we are saying stop at nothing. Thank you. To push this agenda, to make sure that women invest, society invest, government invest in preventing violence against women and girls. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you all for coming. God bless you. And may God strengthen us. Amen. Give us our own peace Amen. of mind. Give us our own joy Amen. and resources yeah. to be able to continue doing what we do. So that it will not be said that after doing all that you do for society, look at what has happened to you. Your old life has become a mess. May it never be said. Amen. Because for whoever gives also receives. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas Thank to you. Merry Thank you. Christmas. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. We are grateful. Oh, we are grateful. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. You're you are welcome. really making an impact. We bless God. And we pray to God to grant you the wisdom, the strength, and the resources that you need, Amen. especially what you do at Christmas. Amen. I yeah. follow you on Facebook yeah. and the way you share food, you share yeah. clothing. In fact, you reach out to the poor and the needy. Amen. And we are praying to God to continue to support Amen. you. Amen. 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 On that note, please, happy feet. One brand new shoe <laughs> or dress <laughs> or fat or whatever you know. Relative's mm. wife. Mm. So I reach out to the... Hey, don't tell him I said relative's wife. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's a republic according to him. I, I beg you. But this time we also want to target... The children affected by the flood situation in the Volta region as well. Mm. So the average cost for um, a shoe now is about 150 cities. So whatever you want to buy the shoe, you, please don't give us your children's worn out tone. It's not nice. Mm. Please, let's give out from our heart. You know, if you want to receive, just imagine that God says, if you give, you know, a torn, a worn out shoe, you're also going to get a one-out shoe yes. or one-out blessing. Is that what you want? Yeah. Please. So please support us. The number is on the screen. And wherever you are in the world, you can contribute. And once again, thank you to Verna Mineral Water, 100%, you know, um, pH levels, balanced pH levels, low in sodium, all the quality, um, the required minerals in there. And they go out sharing love and changing lives. Thank you to Bigger Drinks. Thank you to Juice Time, 100% fruit juices. We are grateful to um, Alf Cuisine. Thank you, Mrs. Oforipoko and the family. Auntie Vera and the whole team. We are so grateful. We know this Christmas. Hmm. My team and I will go enjoy. <laughs> so come and spread us. Please, if you want to come and spread us too, so fine. Please bring it in. Our last recording is on the 12th of December. So please, we are here. Oh, oh my birthday is 23rd January 2024. <laughs> I'll be 54 years. So just oh, reminding wow. you. <laughs> we'll take a break. I'll be back with a bit of me. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
Isn't it amazing how we find it so convenient to blame the devil anytime we do things that we know that are wrong? Including those who even do not believe the existence of God, but somehow they believe that the devil exists. And so we blame the devil for everything. Listen, festive seasons are meant to foster unity, love, bond of the family. For us to learn and unlearn, to celebrate and not to cause pain or harm. Festive season is supposed to be a memorable occasion. We are supposed to create memories and not to create painful experiences. So please... If you need a double dose of patience this festive season, I pray it for you. If you need a double dose of love, I pray it for you. If you need something that will make you behave as a human being with passion, compassion towards each other, I pray it for you. Let it not be ahead. Listen, I don't even want to complete that statement. Put yourself in a situation where you will not endure or fall prey or victim to any sort of abuse or violence. Please, if you know the environment you are in there, because it's one thing being hurt and you recover. It's another thing being, I mean, maimed or scarred and you recover. But it's a whole different ball game when you are killed when you die, when you are maimed or put in an incapacitated situation where all that you work for, all that you're standing for, your children, your family, you can't be there for them anymore. What's the use of that? What is the use of that? Let's be intentional. 2024, that's my mantra. Intentional in everything that I do. If you thought that I was too known, well, look out for my too known, no, no, known in 2024. So help me, God. Because the world is no more what we used to know it to be. People have become something else. Something else. And unfortunately, we also have become enablers by ignoring it, saying it's okay. Famanyame, report if you have to. And we call on the authority, the IGP has promised that this Christmas the police are going to be, but they should not just be there, but they should be willing to assist, to listen, to arrest, to protect, and to guide. I remain a woman with super crazy faith in God. I know I've been called into boldness to say the things that I dare say, to do the things that I dare do. But he has also given me wisdom. And so has he given you. Let's apply the wisdom this festive season, even as we mark the 16 days of activism. Let us invest in the prevention of violence against women and girls. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.